All right, we are back, and uh, I didn't want to get it started because uh, there's a program where I uh, put podcasts up on YouTube, and when it gets a link to be too long, it's going to be, oh, oh, the file size is too big. You can't do it, and you have to find another program to do it. Oh, it's just a wait, though. So, uh... I remember when we was at, uh, left off, so we was getting ready to talk about the craziness uh, that was happening at the press conference on the men's side of the Royal, uh, excuse me, uh, WrestleMania 40. I've already talked about the women's side of the uh, the card. And so now I was, I was just saying that Seth Rollins had came out. So Seth Rollins was talking about, you know, how he was getting Cody to uh to to pick him to challenge for the world championship. He said it is the work uh, workhorse belt and you know we need a fighting champion which we do which we do we need a fighting champion you know we don't we need a part time champion like Roman Reigns or The Rock and well, I know why The Rock is uh, uh, part time because uh, he, you know he stars in movies and all like that. I know that. But why, why, why Roman Reigns is a part timer? I don't even know. But you know, uh, so many days that he has a champion, it's like he can always lose count. And I, but uh, I'm gonna get to my opinion then, but. Anyway, so Seth Rollins was still pushing Cody to pick him instead of Roman Reigns when Roman Reigns wanted The Rock to uh, choose him for the uh, the Universal Championship. That's what it was, the Universal Championship. So, Seth Rollins was trying to call Cody out so that he could make a decision. Mm-mm. Hold on, hold the phone. Because who happened to came out before that? Yep. Anybody would know the head of the table music. Okay. Anybody would know who uh, Roman Reigns music was. Even though Seth uh, called Cody Rose the wrong music head. And you know something was about to go down. So he said his whole, um, you know, the name of the town, which was, uh, or, or in this case, the name of the city, Las Vegas. He said his knowledge, his knowledge be part. All right. And surprisingly, Paul Heyman didn't speak. No. You usually would think Paul Heyman would be his voice, his mantelpiece. You know, because Paul Heyman is the white man of the bloodline. No. It was all Roman Reigns. And he was telling her how, oh, well, uh, Cody Rhodes procrastinated. Uh, he could have chosen and what he had the chance to. Now he's going to get to pick the shot. And I, 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 you know what? Comment had just think about what everybody was thinking about. Comment 167, by the way. He said that that is not how it works, which I agree, because this this whole thing would have made, and it actually did for a while, made the men's Royal Rumble meaningless. Because once you've won the Royal Rumble, lasted like thirty or whatever guy that you made uh, lasted through in the Royal Rumble, and you're the last man standing, you get to pick. Who you going to fight the main event at WrestleMania? Cody originally wanted Roman Reigns. Then on one SmackDown, somebody then somehow you got The Rock coming into the mix, and then we all thought everybody thought that wait, Rock versus Roman Reigns. But what happened to Cody Royal Rumble? What about his Royal Rumble win? So he's just gonna let the Rock uh, steal his just steal his uh, chance to steal his chance to finish the story. I mean, fans was like ready to riot, and there was like some reports, 
you know, may may not have been true, but there was some report that people were getting uh, some merchandise back and, you know, people were probably canceling WrestleMania back if, there was, if this was how WrestleMania 40 was going to be. I, it, it, it was some chaos. It was total chaos. But at, no, answers for were going to be at the press conference and then also SmackDown the next night after. So, uh, Roman was not was not finished uh, was not finished talking his trash talk and all like that. So he got to the part finally where he was going to say who he really want to face at WrestleMania. Boy, the fans at the press conference were lit. They were not having it. Roman Reigns said that he chose The Rock. Or which in this case, it was Hollywood Rock. Okay. So The Rock came out, did his thing, yada yada yada. Um, and he actually called most of us who are Team Cody, uh, Cody, Cry, uh, Cody Crybaby. And, uh, so, yeah, the rock, is, uh, the rock is definitely back to Hollywood Rock, which he hasn't been in 21 years. He he has been the fate to laugh part because, I mean, you know, he must have been uh, a face. All, uh, he has been healed before, but then he has been a uh, face for, tw- uh, like, the, some of the reports that 21 years. I know I've been reading wrestling stories and stuff like that, but uh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But, uh, yeah. I'll get to the, okay, I'll get to the Family Feud stuff in a minute, but where did this leave Seth Rollins? Okay. Seth Rollins is the world championship. Ah! But wait, the answer will come on the next night so that Seth Rollins will have an opponent for WrestleMania. Now, I could double back to get to The Rock from Marine. Okay. So, here's The Rock. You know, don't know. WrestleMania is going to be the bigger WrestleMania of them all because of their match. He's going to say that Rock and Rock and, um, and Roman Reigns will be the biggest match in the WWE. He said that he... It's going to be the one to beat Roman Reigns. Okay. And a lot of fans were not having it. A lot of fans were not having it. You was hearing. You was hearing. Um, Rocky Stuck Chance. You were saying. We want Cody's, uh, Cody Chance. I mean. Uh, they, they was going to tear down the roof. Of, of the, uh, the, Las, uh, the arena in Las Vegas. Now, it's crazy the fact that the press conference was held the same weekend or the same week that the Super Bowl is being held. So, crazy. Crazy. But, all right. So, Rock did that. Then, Cody had heard enough. He finally was able to come out and... Okay, so when the rock this was after the rock was uh talking about the uh the family tree they had a, they had a tree of uh, the bloodline and they had uh all of his uh ancestors and the rock had this father up on the tree and the, and uh Roman for up on the family tree and I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna be a bloodline and the family tree t shirt out I wouldn't be surprised at one bit that'd probably be a seller. That would probably be a sellout um, after the uh, the press conference. All right, I'm calling that right now. I'm calling that right now. All right, so there was some high tension when Cody came out. Yeah, the Rock was talking about Cody. Cody family was you know you know at Dusty Road, and then well when Cody came out finally, oh boy. There was fireworks, and it wasn't even the 4th of July yet. 
So, Cody has said, well, what is your, your father, and what is your father, what is your grandfather, or something like that, he said, what if they were here, and it said that you, something about you, him, him failing, and him, you know, not measuring up, or something like that, and boy, you heard the slap that heard around the world. The Rock actually slapped Cody. And The Rock is on the board of TKO. So technically, technically, he put his hand on an employee. Technically, that's not supposed to be done like that. Okay. But it went, but it, it went on. And then Cody said that, uh-uh. You don't tell any anybody what to do. I won the Royal Rumble. I won the match. I still get to pick the opponent who I want to face at WrestleMania. I still want Roman Reigns. And that's what we got. That's what we got. Even in the middle of the turmoil. And so, then after a whole fighting incident, whew, it didn't end until the backstage where I was trying to get an interview with uh, Triple H and trying to find out what the heck happened. And Triple H was trying to get his side of the uh, story in. And then Rock interrupted and said, you talk, you let Cody Rhodes talk about the family like that. And we'll, we'll, we'll finish, we'll finish something. You know, you're saying something like that. And, uh, boy, he was having a heated, heated, mm. Let's just say it got heated uh, with the Rock and Triple H, and wow. Okay, so that was over, and then he got smacked down the next night. Okay? Now, Triple H did say that WrestleMania 40 is going to be, yeah, WrestleMania 40 is going to be Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns for the Universal title. So, Cody Rhodes will be getting the chance, once again, to finish his story, which is good. And that's the way it should be, after, after uh, a cheating incident on WrestleMania 30, uh, 39, which uh, Cody Rhodes was supposed to win. Supposed to win. Anyway. So, now, Seth Rollins. Uh, there's going to be a tournament. There's going to be a tournament. Now, I know one of the, uh, one of the participants is, uh, Randy Orton. I know another participant is, uh, LA Knight, but there was a couple of other... Oh, yeah, Drew McIntyre's in the, uh, the tournament as well. Uh, they are competing for a chance to compete against Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for his World Championship belt. So, I will be on the lookout for that and uh, keep you posted on that, though. And that was a crazy, crazy segment. And the, you know, the commentators on the kickoff show, like, um, uh, CM Punk, uh, there was, mm, there was, uh, there was, uh, there was the commentators that was on the, uh, the kickoff show. They were stunned. They were stunned like everybody else was. So, but, uh, now, here's the thing, when The Rock and, and also Seth Rollins, not Seth Rollins, when The Rock was, uh, uh, leaving the jet, uh, the jet, and also Roman Reigns was leaving the jet, The Rock was the only one that said something about the press conference, okay, and of course Roman Reigns was only talking about himself, as well as the, uh, the wise man, but The Rock was saying, this is going to be a press conference that everybody will still be talking about. Was he given a clue that that was going to be, you know, the whole bloodline family and the slap and everything like that? Was that was supposed to be the one that we're supposed to be talking about? Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder. Kind of makes you wonder. Alright. Well, so we know it's going to be 
Cody and uh, uh, Roman Reigns. We know that's uh, we know that for a fact. We know that uh, we know that it's going to be uh, Bailey and Io Sky. That's going to be a fact. And we know that uh, somebody is going to be facing uh, somebody's going to be facing that Rollins for the title. That's a fact. All right. <sighs> I tell you, in times that you have to go to holidays for you cherish, whether it's family or friends or loved one, especially when your loved one passed, and one of those days are hard, and you was trying to find another person to celebrate with, that is crazy crazy now before I do a rant about this I want to uh, to thank a hero that tried to actually tried to help me uh, in my quest of trying to find a Valentine uh, Valentine for Valentine's Day try saying that five times fast okay so uh let me first announce the the hero who was trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, help me in uh, in this failed quest. But I'm still giving her an award anyway uh, because she really tried, and you know she's really hurt. And even her friends didn't want it, uh, want anything to do with me, or one was unavailable and one was a scammer. But anyway, that's gonna be part of the rant. But this is hero first. So, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I would like to personally thank uh, Princess uh, Judy Novoskly. Judy Novoskly, and, and I apologize for saying her, uh, your name, uh, last name wrong. Uh, Judy, we uh, known each other for five years, and I did. Well, I hate to admit this, but I did have a crush on her. I did ask her, you know, to, you know, if we be, be more than just friends, but. Uh, you know, she was at the time going through something herself. So she wasn't ready at the time. So, five years comes along. As a matter of fact, there was time when I couldn't get on Facebook. And when, when I wasn't on Facebook, when I couldn't get on, oh, she was about to ready to call the National Guard, the CIA, the, uh, the FBI. And you're like, where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my friend? How, how come he's not there? What? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And so, fast forward to now. I happened to the Facebook one day, and then I found out that she was now taken. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? But, I tell you, this is a friend. This is definitely a friend. She stepped out and she said, I'm going to help you find a Valentine. So she went to work. So she put up a post for me, you know, telling me, telling about, uh, telling the ladies about me. And she said that if they wanted, uh, a chance to get to know me and date me and stuff like that, uh, to definitely get in contact with her or also get in contact with me. And she did a phenomenal job. A phenomenal job. Okay. So one of the one of her friends was I guess you could say on the unavailable. And we were trying to talk. But then, you know, something happened and then it wasn't meant to be. Then another person was a scammer. And I think her boyfriend was also uh, um, not trusting her. And she's the one that was trying to scam them. Trying to scam them. The princess in the night. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, the boyfriend is also a knight of uh, uh, Big D Country, too. But anyway, trying to scam them. And I was, like, so mad that that happened. So very mad. So mad. Okay, so 
Uh, but anyway, so she tried again another day. Tried to get another post. Now this is like a week before Valentine's And now, being that the day is the 10th and it's the week of, now I got to go through a Super Bowl and then have to see all the Taylor Swift thing and the Patrick Mahomes life thing. And, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably be well, probably only want to see the clips on YouTube trying to see, you know, like I do with the halftime show. I see clips on YouTube. And then I want to see the uh, clips of the, uh, you know, who do the lift up the voice and sing and who do the uh, God Bless America and the Star Thing Banner and who do, uh, and then the coin toss. So they usually have that on YouTube. So, but I'm going to I'm going to do the award presentation uh, for your uh, faithfulness and even trying to help me to get the Valentine. And I just truly thank you. And that really means a lot to me that somebody that was really trying. But even though it's a fa failed effort, I'm still honoring you with a medal of freedom to Judy and I thank you and we beat the country are grateful for your efforts please let's hear it for Judy and beat the country all right huh. now everybody knows that I was this close to getting a valentine I, I thought I'd find one, but, well, let's just say a boss wouldn't let us date. Yeah. Bumped out. Wouldn't let us date. Then, somebody else, same thing. Now, you might be wondering, okay, so, if you're working somewhere, all right. Now this is this is not the main reason why I don't work. I don't work because I'm disappointed. Uh, did not disappointed, but disabled and and everything like that. But this makes me wondering. Okay, should I already be married before I even get a job? If I was able body, because you'd be eight hours almost every day, except for the day that you have off. Eight hours, and you can't date that person. And oh my God, there's gonna be a Plan B, a Part B. No, Part Three. Oh my God, I didn't even look at this. Ugh. 